Hey everybody, just figured I'd do a quick video today on some of the new projects I'm working on. Um, I've been kind of busy this week, haven't had time for a lot of videos. So I've been kind of sneaking in little projects on the side. And I got a couple of things in the mail and did a, little, did a few projects. So I figured I'd give you an all-in-one update. First thing I made today is a strop for my knives. Now I'm going to give you a close-up. This is actually a leather belt kind of belt you're looking for. If you buy one, it costs me a dollar at a Goodwill store. Um, you want no stitching, no patterns, no nothing, just plain old genuine leather. Um, I put a little compound on this so far. Um, I accidentally got some oil on it too, but that's fine. Um, I just crazy glued it on a piece of wood. The piece of wood I got from Home Depot when I was walking through, they had it in the garbage. I asked if I could take it. Drilled a hole on it, rounded the edges off, smoothed it up a bit, good to go. So for a dollar, I got myself a leather strop. Um, so far, it's worked just as good as the little one, uh, the tiny one on my uh, work sharp sharpener. Um, I just wanted a bigger one so I could take care of edges when um, I needed to. Um, a couple weeks ago, uh, Morgan over on the Arm Road channel had mentioned she modified her Mora so she could use it with her uh, ferrocerium rod. And well, I watched her video and did the same. I can't, I don't know if you can see that. Basically, I made a nice sharp down to the steel spot on the spine. I also, in the mail, got a uh, one of the monster ferro rods. Six inches long, half an inch wide. Probably won't get any sparks now, watch. It does put off a ton of sparks. As you can see, yeah, there we go. Uh, but I'm at a weird angle here on the camera, so you won't be able to see it as well. But um, I don't know if I'm gonna make a handle for this. I kinda like it just the way it is. It seems to work pretty well. And I've been pretty happy with it. Um, next project. Probably most of you know what this is. I'm going to move the camera in a bit so we can take a good look at these last two projects. This is going to be an ammo can stove. All the junk in there is parts. Um, so far I've gotten to the point where I've got my smokestack chimney. I've got this in here. That's just a piece of conduit. Two inch conduit with a two inch pipe fits right over the top. As you can see there, uh, got the chimney, got a little diffuser. I'm probably gonna build a, uh, a small cover diffuser type thing for the top there. But for now, that's just to move the uh, smoke away from if I have it inside of a tent or something. I got some uh, pieces of metal cut, just a piece of sheet steel. I'm gonna use that as the door. And I didn't do a build video on this because basically this takes a lot of time. It's been over probably the last two weeks that I've been working on this and to keep track of the footage right now because I'm just so busy with our business would probably be kind of hard. Anyway, it's going to mount here. I'm going to have a little, uh, couple little holes here, something to open and close it so you get the air in. It's going to open and close and have a hinge on it. When this is completed, I will do a burn test on it and I will do a video on it, but it's probably going to be a week or two more because... I'm waiting on uh, some more ideas on how I'm going to latch it. So anyway, that's that. Now on the end here is a bit of a longer term project that I've been working on for a while. And it seems that my projects all revolve around ammo cans. <laughs> anyway, this is going to be a solar charger. <clears throat> I had two extra 5 watt solar panels. I'm sorry, 10 watts. And I haven't had anything to do with them. I haven't really had a purpose for them. So... Hooked them up together, put a nice cigarette lighter plug on the end. It's going to plug in here and charge the battery. Um, this is going to be a little bit longer though because really this is a quick project to finish. But I made the mistake of ordering um, some of the uh, electronics for it off of uh, Amazon. And normally Amazon's really good. And I didn't really pay attention to the shipping date on it. So the shipping, it's supposed to arrive by October 1st. This being the middle of September, it's going to be a while. I've got an on and off button drilled. Um, I got my little 140 watt inverter that's going to plug into the cigarette lighter when I complete it. I don't know if I'm going to keep this or not. It's a 12 amp hour deep cycle gel battery and all my wiring and my solar uh, charge control and all the other stuff's in here for that project. So anyway, that gives you a little idea of what I've been working on. Um, I haven't had a lot of time for videos this last week, but... Uh, Again, when this is complete, you'll have a full video on it. I'll show you how I did it. But it's one of those projects that I've been building over time, and I really haven't had time to uh, 
stop and do each segment. But anyway, that's uh, that's where we stand right now. Um, keep watching. I do have a couple more videos that are going to be coming out in the next few days. Um, but that's my survival projects of the week. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to click like. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to comment. And I will talk to you guys real soon.